we worship you and for you are so good almighty god i love be your name your dominion is forevermore hallelujah adonai we worship you Son of God, you are so good, Almighty God, I love your name, your dominion is forevermore, Adonai, Adonai, we worship you, Son of God. forever in the mighty name of Jesus. You change it now and dominion, your authority never diminish. Go ahead and worship him this morning and magnify him because he is God. He reigns from the beginning to the now and forever in Jesus' mighty name. His dominion is forever. His dominion never diminish. His authority never go down. He's always mighty. He's always glorious. Give him praise and give him glory this morning and magnify his holy name. Give him praise and give him honor. Give him praise and give him glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Exalt his holy name. Blessed be his name this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Magnify him because only one let him reign. He reigns in the heavens. He reigns on earth. He reigns from the beginning to the very end. He reigns from eternity past to eternity now. And stand it forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Give him praise because his dominion is forever. His reign never ends. His reign never stops. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our thanksgiving. Give him praise, give him glory. Adoration to him this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to him alone in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. To him be honor, to him be glory, to him be praise, to him be adoration forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be his name in Jesus' mighty name. Blessed be his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Worship him and magnify him for his greatness, for his mercy. Give him praise, give him glory, give him praise, give him glory, give him praise, give him glory in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Give him praise and give him glory. Give him praise and give him glory. Give him praise and give him glory. Blessed be his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, to you be glory forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Give him praise. Give him praise. Worship him and magnify him. Hallowed be your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Be glorified and be exalted. Be glorified and be exalted. Be glorified and be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. We worship you. Thank you because you reign forever and ever. Your kingdom reigns forever and ever. You reign in my life. You reign in my home. You reign in my body. You reign in everything about me. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to you forever in Jesus' mighty name. Glory and honor to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Today, by God's grace, we're focusing on praying and receive grace, spirit of power, and mighty and wisdom to be a blessing and to be a support, a hope, a succor to our cement in distress. The word is distressed. And many people are passing through emotional pains, emotional difficulties. Many people are weighed down by raising of their head. By reason of their finance, some by reason of their marriages, some by reason of the way their children are turning up, some by reason of their many other reasons, many, many reasons. People, many people are emotionally distressed. And sometimes I don't know them by just looking at them until you get close. Or go by his wisdom and grace, just open your eyes to see and to know that this person is distressed. And you can be of help in one form or the other either by counseling or by speaking, whatever way the Lord has helped you or is helping you to be of help. But you cannot help anyone unless you are helped yourself. You can't give what you don't have. You can't be distressed and disturbed. And see if someone has distressed and disturbed, that'd be a bit difficult. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, 2 Corinthians 1, verse 3, says, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy, and the God of all comfort. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's 2 Corinthians 1 verse 3. The Father of mercies. Plural, the mercies. You know me and you have received mercies. That's why we are even here this morning to pray. Because we have received mercies. We have been helped a lot by him. And the God of all comfort. Verse 4 now says, Who comforted us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them as well, who are in any trouble by the comfort we are with, we ourselves as we comforted of God. By the comfort we are with, we ourselves are comforted of God. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy, 2 Corinthians 1 verse 3, and the God of all comforts. We have received mercy and has comforted us on many sides. Who comforted us in all our tribulation? The word our idea simply means we are all passing through the same Red Sea. When Israelites left Egypt and they are going to the Promised Land, everybody went through the Red Sea, most is inclusive. They all had the same experience. They all got baptized under the cloud. They all ate the same manner. They all went hunger when there was no food. When they for three days we were traveling and there was no water, everybody went through it. When there was uh, pain here and there, they all had the pain. But in all those tribulations, God was comforting Moses and telling him, don't worry, I am your God. And Moses was in turn, was able to comfort the people of God. At the, at the time they were distressed, they were still disturbed and they don't know what to do. And Moses said, here we are, we don't know what to do, what do we do? God said, Moses, look at your hand, your hand, that's a rod. Open the way and let the people go. And by that rod in his hand, he comforted the people of God. First and foremost, we say, Father, thank you for comforting me in all my tribulations. Father, thank you. I know I'm going through a lot. Me, oh God, no. Maybe this small computer on people, but I know I'm Father, going through a lot. Yeah, but in all my tribulations, you are comforting me. I say thank you. Father, for you are showing me mercy. Yeah. The Bible says, Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy. Thank you for your many mercies over my life. 
over my children, over my home, over my family. Things I am going through, I've gone through that ordinary should make me crumble and pull me down. You help me to go through them. Father, I thank you very much. Father, I thank you too very much. You didn't allow my pain, my trouble to weigh me down, to crush me down. You had me in them all. I receive mercy from you. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God of mercy, that has shown me mercy. Father, I thank you. You are the Father of mercies, and you have shown mercy. I thank you. You are the Father of all comfort, and you have comforted me in all my trouble. Thank you. You comforted me in all my tribulations. You comforted me in all my issues. You send comfort my way. Blessed be God who comforted us in all our tribulations. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for being my comfort, the spirit of comfort. You comforted me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Sometimes God will not remove the trouble immediately, but He give us the strength to go through it, mm. comforting us in all our tribulation. That man said, God, hear me, hear me, take this thing away from me. Three times, Apostle Paul. And God said, my grace, my comfort is sufficient for you. But we going through it. You may look as if I'm removing it, but don't worry, you will go through it. Mm. Because I will comfort you in all your tribulation. God allowed that, allowed the tribulation to stay and allow his comfort to comfort me so that I may have experience and from the experience comfort others who may go through the same. Just as I did, one of our sisters was calling me, telling me about some issues that I'm going, she was going through. And I was telling her what I went through at some point and I comforted her in her tribulation. Now that's why I allow, God allowed me to go through that time. So it comforts us in all our tribulations that we go through them on hot without crash landing, without crashing down. Blessed be God forever in the mighty name of Jesus. So it's once again that I thank God for the comfort I'm enjoying as a person, for the comfort you are comforting me with as a person. Thank for the comfort you are comforting us with in all our that we may be able to comfort them who are in any trouble. Thank you because I have received comfort from you. I have been helped of you. Blessed be your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever I'm going through now, I know it is your strength is going to be taking me through it. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Oh, thank you because you know the comfort I'm receiving now. I myself will be able to comfort others as well. Blessed be your name, Daddy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be glorified forever. Be honored forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the consolation, for the comfort. For the grace I've received from you. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are very grateful for the hope I have. I have hope in you. I am not hopeless. I know I have hope. I know with you I can go through this. I know with you I will come out on us. I know with you I will be saved. Blessed be your name forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Psalm 23. Psalm 23. I read from uh, verse number one. But I thank you for this morning. Thank you because you are comforting us in all our tribulations. As a nation, as a people, we are passing through the Red Sea. But you are always there for us. That you may be able to comfort as many than our left and our right. Even though we are all under the same cloud, but we are blessed differently. Thank you because we are blessed. Say you to yourself, thank you, Father, because I am blessed. Thank you, because I am blessed. Say it again, Daddy, I thank you because I am blessed. Thank you, Father, because I am blessed. Father, we thank you because we are blessed. Thank you, Even though the whole world is passing through the same cloud, we are all under the same cloud. Especially in our nation now, we are under the same cloud. But thank you because despite the, the thickness of the cloud, I am blessed. This, my brethren, can say that they are blessed. It has been you, Father, I say thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the comfort you are comforting us with in all our tribulations. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for healing you are sending to all of us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For cure, you are sending to all of us. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. For the rest in our spirit and the rest in our soul, despite what we are going through, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for everything we are seeing and we are experiencing now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We know you have comforted us that you might be able to comfort as many as well who are in any trouble around us. Love to say thank you for all this. Blessed be your name forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Psalm 23. He said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That is the beginning, brethren. If I am in want, how do I help those that also may want to help me? Want to want me. Sometimes the Lord comfort us. I've said it many times here. People do come to me and say, Pastor, can you borrow me some money? Maybe because they felt I am rich, because I, really, I look comfortable. But I'm looking for comfortable, they don't actually translate the money in my pocket many times. But I want to go beyond that, say, Lord, I know you are comforting me, making me comfortable in all my troubles. But Lord, I shall not want in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word say, I shall not want. Um, that means if I have enough, I can help as many as well that are around me. Father, you are my shepherd in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and see that. I shall not want in Jesus' mighty name. I shall not want in the mighty name of Jesus. You are my shepherd. I shall not want in the mighty name of Jesus. You are my shepherd. I declare you are my shepherd. A shepherd will not allow his sheep to go hungry. A shepherd will not allow his sheep to go thirsty. A shepherd will not allow his sheep to, a, a, a sheep to go wanting and not have a necessity of life. Lord, please help me in the mighty name of Jesus. Provide my need in Jesus' mighty name. Provide for my need. I shall not want in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let me be a prey to the enemy while I'm searching for what to eat. I don't want to go outside your command. I don't want to go outside your view. I don't want to go outside your vicinity. I don't want to go begging my enemy for food. I don't want to go begging for, for what to wear, what to feed my children with. I shall not want in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall not want in the mighty name of Jesus. Head wise, Lord, I shall not want. I shall not be distressed in my head to the point I'm begging for help to get money. Lord, I shall not help. I shall not want in Jesus' mighty name. I will have help sufficient and enough. All around me. In Jesus' mighty name. You are my shepherd, you are my God. I shall not want in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the God of comfort, God of mercy. You are the Father of Jesus Christ. Remember me, Lord, and remember me for good in Jesus' mighty name. I shall not want in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. He make me lie down in great passion. He lead me beside the still water. In other words, God put you in the midst of uh, provisions already prepared for you. Imagine a sheep that lie down in the midst of green passion. And the food of that sheep is to eat green passion. If we eat enough and sleep inside of it, and eat and wake up and eat again and sleep, the Bible says it furnish my table in the presence of my enemies. And they can do nothing about it because it's my shepherd and it caused me to lie down in the midst of green passion. Lord, let every turn on me bring forth green in the mighty name of Jesus. Every grass on me, every tree on me, let them bring forth life and be green in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything on me, let it bring forth grace. Anything I put my hand into, let it be blessed. My blessing, I mean, my, my, my business, my work, my source of income, anything and everything I put my hand upon, including my family, we are lie down every day, we are live. Let them blossom to fruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. Let everything I mean blossom, blossom to greenness in Jesus' mighty name. Let everything I mean blossom in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them blossom in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The same here was writing for the background of the community where he found himself in the, in the, in the desert. You know, it's stress located in the desert. And desert, there are no grass. When he say I lie down the midst of green pasture, I wonder where we got that in the wilderness. Looking around him, everything is dried. I tell you the truth, there are no green pasture in the wilderness. Where this one was getting from? Where will he get one from? And that's how you see the full line coming from the north to the south. Because there are no green pasture in the north. So they must migrate to where there are green pasture. 
But here, this man, some migrating, he was still in the same desert, and he declared practically, I let down the means of green pressure. Physically speaking, he was in a dry desert. There are no green there. Not if there's any green, very small. He had to look for grass anywhere he can get to feed his sheep as a shepherd. But yet, even in the midst of that lack, in the midst of that dryness, he declared, I lie down in the midst of green pasture. You know why? Because the Lord is my shepherd. He will not allow me to go once. Go you know I said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. It was practically in the midst of want, dryness. But practically, he declared for himself, as long as God is my shepherd, I shall not want. That green, I may not see it, but I know I am in the midst of it. They see that the, the Bible says, even though the, the, the garden may not blossom, the fruit may not be there, the barn may be, may be dry, but I will rejoice because I know the Lord will supply my need. So I go ahead and sit down at the sun and say, Lord, I learned in the midst of great passion. In the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what I see around me. It doesn't matter what I'm hearing around me. It doesn't matter how much they sell for it. It doesn't matter how much uh, things are selling in the market. It doesn't matter how dry things are around me. I know I lie down the midst of green pressure. Therefore, I shall not want. Because the Lord is my shepherd. In the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter that the, the, the van is filled with fruit. It doesn't matter that there is grain in the house. It doesn't matter that my store have food or not. I know by God's grace I'm landed in the midst of green pressure. And therefore I shall not want. Because the Lord is my shepherd. In the mighty name of Jesus. It will turn my way that next to flow with rivers. It will turn my way that next to flow to, to the garden of Eden. In the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter where I'm living, the city, the town, the country. It can turn my environment to Garden of Eden in the mighty name of Jesus. I know I lie down in the midst of Garden of Eden. I lie down in the midst of green pasture. I shall not want in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall not want in Jesus' mighty name. Because I lie down in the midst of God in the midst of green pasture in Jesus' mighty name. I shall not want in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord will lead me to abundance. So he will lead me to abundance beside the still waters in the mighty name of Jesus. I will have abundance. He will bless me to abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. These are prophetic prayers. He say, I lie down in the midst of green pastures. He lead me beside the still waters. There are no water in the wilderness. I tell you, that's why Jordan is very popular. Jordan is practically the only water man. That's the water in the origin. Jordan, Ephraim, and uh, Ephesus. That particularly the only water water in the origin. The only do is, that's why they are very popular. Rest is very popular because they are practically rest is water about four or five countries, from Egypt to Ethiopia to Sudan, the two Sudan, Sudan, and uh, down, down. So it's a mix of desert. There are no green. There are no water. And the man say. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. As a matter of fact, I'm lying down in the midst of grain and beside waters, even though the sheep are tested at that time. The Lord can ever more than he can ever think. More than he can ever, he can ever, he can ever, he can ever, he can ever think of. So, practically, you can say, forget what is going around you, forget the medical report, forget uh, the financial report, forget the marital report, forget the report about the children, forget any report that may be negative. Just tell yourself, I lie down in the midst of the garden, in the midst of green, in the mighty name of Jesus, beside the still water, and the midst of Eden. Therefore, I shall not lack in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord has provided me with Eden. He has planted me in the midst of Eden. I shall not lack. I shall not lack in the mighty name of Jesus. He has provided for me. I am the midst of Eden. I lie down in, in the midst of green pasture, and He lead me beside the still waters. Not just one water, but many waters. Therefore, I shall not want in the mighty name of Jesus, because the Lord is my shepherd. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare everything around me and everything in me that I am lying down in the midst of Eden in Jesus' mighty name. I declare concerning everything around me and everything in me 
that they have enough and sufficient in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall not lack in Jesus' mighty name because the Lord make me to lie down in green pasture. I am lying down in the midst of Eden in Jesus' mighty name. I speak prophetically to my own life in Jesus' mighty name. I shall not want. I am living and leading by the side of sea waters in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Verse 3 says, He restored my soul. He leaded me in the path of righteousness because of his name, for his name's sake. He, led, he restored my soul. That's also very important. I told you I pray for the spirit of power to be able to help those that are in distress. Many people are distressed. Many people are going through emotional need, emotional trouble, emotional concern, and you need to help them. And you can only be of help to as many as that because your soul has been restored. Your soul is the seat of your emotion. Where you are disturbed many times, where you are concerned many times. And in the only two case, because the Lord restored my soul from the part of destruction, the part of worry, the part of concern, the part of many water, He has restored me and gave me hope. Gave me hope. Then I can stand in the midst, in the, in the seat of a hopeful man to be, of, to be of help to the hopeless. Why? Because my soul has been restored. I don't know God get worried. I don't get, get disturbed. Even though this I army mean, may not have be green yet, but I know I'm lying down in the midst of green pasture. I know there are waters around me I shall not want. Because the Lord is my shepherd. I rest myself in that comfort. And because I rest myself in that comfort, then I have no reason to be afraid. My soul has been restored. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus. My soul is just mighty name. With the comfort I receive from God, my soul is restored. In the mighty name of Jesus, with the hope I receive for Jesus Christ, my soul is restored. In the mighty name of Jesus, with the help I'm receiving from God, my soul is restored. In the mighty name of Jesus, because I know I lie down in the midst of green pasture, and I'm led there, and the Lord is leading me by the self of sea waters. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you allow my way, then it will flow with waters. And we make way where there is no way in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, I comfort myself with this that the Lord will make way where there is no way, where there is no sign of healing. The Lord will cause healing to take place in the mighty name of Jesus. He will make way where there is no way, where there is hopelessness. God will bring hope again in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord restored my soul in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, He kept me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, he restored my soul in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. When a man became become hopeless, every idea he have, we tend to towards sin. Every idea. When a woman become hopeless, every idea she have, we tend to towards sin. But when God restores your soul, you are comforted and you are happy. You have less thought about sin. Say, for example, the children are not eating, they are hunger, and there is no food in the house. And that was going to suggest to you, why don't go and do this, and that's why I can feed the children. And most of those ideas, most times, they are sinful. They are things ordinarily you will not even think about. But when God is there your soul, I assure you, look, I am by your side. And don't worry, I will do whatever I can do to be of help to you. Then your soul is restored. When there was wind in the, in the midst of water and the ship of Paul was about sinking and everybody was troubled. For 14 days they couldn't eat. Paul said, don't be troubled. Nobody will lose his life. At that point, the guard, because they are mostly prisoners, the guard was started with killing the prisoners and they won't escape. But Paul said, don't kill anybody, nobody will die. And with the comfort that Paul comforted them, even though they are all in the same ship, they all had their life restored back to them. No single one was lost. You know why? Because Paul was comforted just a day before by the angel of God. Don't worry. The storm will be there, but you won't lose your soul. I will keep you, I will take you safely to the shore. What else do we need in life more than that? Even though the storm is raging, the troubles are there, but God said, don't bother yourself. I will take you safely to the shore. At least the end result that you get safely to the shore. That's all that is important. 
and I will get sense of the show in the mighty name of Jesus. Say to yourself, I will get sense of the show in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter how troubled the sea is, no matter how troubled the water is, I will get safely to the shore in the mighty name of Jesus. I will get my prosperity to progress land. I will get my destiny. I will feel purpose in life in the mighty name of Jesus. I will get to a place I will say, yes, I have been healed. I will get to a place I will say, yes, my story is restored. I will get to a place I say, yes, I have received the benefit of, of raising my children. I will get to a place and say, yes, I have received the benefit of enduring all this while in the mighty name of Jesus. I will get to the store in Jesus, to the shore in Jesus' mighty name. I will get to the shore in the mighty name. I will not get lost in the midst of the water. I shall not get lost in the midst of the water. The storm of life will not carry me away in the mighty name of Jesus. The wind may blow, the storm may rage, the water may, may make noise, but I know my God will steal the water in the mighty name of Jesus. And I will get to the shore safely in Jesus' mighty name. I know my God will see the raging storm, the raging water. And I will get to the soul, to the, to the shore, safely in the mighty name of Jesus. I know my God will arise on my behalf. And we declare peace if you see. And the water and the wave will obey him. Because he created them in the mighty name of Jesus. I know my God will arise on my behalf. And we declare for me peace if you see. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the wave and the sea, they will obey him. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. When the Lord had arose, He said, "Peace be still, peace be still." And when peace came, they even wondered, and they said, "What kind of a man is it that even the wave and the sea they obey Him?" That is the God we serve, brethren. And He said, "Don't bother yourself. I am with you in this boat." He said, "Lo, I am with you." always. If it's with me, then forget the storm. That God is with you. It was in the midst of the boat and storm came. But the assurance is as long as in the boat, the boat cannot sink. That's why you must ensure Jesus Christ always in your boat, even when it's stormy. Because as long as it's in the boat, this boat will not sink. And verse 4 of our text in that century says, Ye do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. There are storms, there are issues here and there, the children hurt, the children behavior, the marriage itself is even struggling, and uh, all over around me and there are struggle here and there. Financially, I cannot even feed my family. I want to I cannot even eat what I want to eat myself. I cannot even boast of small in my account. The account is almost dormant because there is no money going there. I'm only feeding, practically trying to survive a day after the other. And towards the other thing, my head too is trying to raise its own wahala. It's even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. No storm is swallowing me in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell yourself, no storm is swallowing me in Jesus' mighty name. It doesn't matter the report I'm having. Either in my head, either in my finance, either about my children, either about my finance. It doesn't matter the report. I will fear no evil in the mighty name of Jesus. I will fear no evil in Jesus' mighty name. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy star will comfort me in the mighty name of Jesus. I am comforted in Jesus' mighty name. I am comforted in the mighty name of Jesus. God is my comfort. I am comforted in Jesus' mighty name. As long as I'm praying, I know God will arise on my behalf. I am comforted in the mighty name of Jesus. I am comforted in the mighty name of Jesus. I am comforted in the mighty name of Jesus. I am comforted in the mighty name of Jesus. I am comforted in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Bible says, let God arise and let his enemy be scattered. When Jesus arose in that sheep, the wind couldn't stay. Immediately they saw the king of kings. The mouth was shut. And to what's in their case, the Lord said, Peace be still. How will a master talk and a servant will not keep short? Is the master of all, the wind and the sea, it belongs to them. Demons and angels all submit to him. He holds them all. And the master arose, even his presence alone is scary to the wind. They saw him, they fled, and towards the old thing, he said, Peace, be still. And they dare not talk again. It never happened that. 
that they went through the sea and the storm arose. It never happened again. What God will do in your life this morning shall be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Just as it was never written again, the disciples went through sea and they kept traveling through sea and the sea never rose again when they saw them. That same way, affliction from this morning shall now rise again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is written, affliction shall now rise in the second time. Yes. And for when they see you, they will run. Yes. Because you carry his presence. He yes. said, when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Therefore, they will arise. God will arise this morning. I said, let God arise and let enemies cast I say, Father, arise on my behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, arise on my behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. About my head, arise. On my children, issue, pain, school face, feeding them, making sure they are healthy. Father, arise. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says, "Care not that that we perish. Care not that how we are help others when I not be help myself." Lord, arise, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, arise on my behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. How we I tell others that don't worry, God is with you. When I've not witnessed one myself, Lord, Father, arise in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, arise on my behalf in Jesus' mighty name. How we I tell others that God can help your marriage when my marriage is in disorder. How can I tell? That, that your head can be good because I can hear you. When my own, I'm struggling with my own. Lord, arise on my behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, arise on my behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. How can I tell that the Lord is that God shall supply all your needs when my finances is in disorder? Father, arise in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise and let your enemies that struggle in my life. Let them scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise and declare, let there be peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O oh Lord, on my behalf. Arise for your name's sake, Lord, arise on my behalf. Because I so because of your name arise on my behalf, let I put my hand to iniquity. Lord arise in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my Lord fall on Gogan. Arise on me in Jesus' mighty name. Arise on my behalf. Let I put my hand to iniquity, Lord. Arise for me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. The Bible said the Lord of the righteous shall fall on present land. Let they put their hand to iniquity. If things are not working, the thought of sin will be increasing. When things are good for you, I think you have better understanding and some God better. God will arise on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And as He rise, He will declare peace on your behalf. Amen. And as the Lord declared peace and the storm still, they will not rise again. Amen. Because there is no record of them rising again when they declared peace on behalf of the disciples. And they will not rise again in the mighty name of amen. Jesus. Say good amen, Jesus. Amen. Mighty name. And for this morning, see verse 5. That's where we are actually going to. We pray verse 1 to 4 for ourselves. So that when we have received the comfort that God only can give, then we can help others who are also in comfort, in discomfort. Many people are distressed and many people are troubled. But if you have been helped, then you can help others as well. If you have been saved, you can save others as well. So I pray for you once again that God will arise on your behalf. Amen. With comfort is in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. His Lord and His Star will comfort you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will restore your soul to the path of righteousness Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And by God's grace, we will lead you to the path of seawater and uh, we supply your need. Put Amen. you the midst of green pastures in Jesus' mighty name. And you will declare the Lord is my shepherd, and I will lack nothing in Jesus' mighty name. He said in verse 5, that prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemy, that I anointed my head with oil and my cup running over. The Lord himself will supply your need. Amen. And, your, and so much that even your enemy cannot do anything about it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Bible says in him is life, and his life is the light of men, and the light shines in darkness. And darkness cannot do anything about it. That scripture will be true in your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You'll be a light in darkness. Amen. And darkness cannot do anything in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God shall supply all your need in the means of the valley of evil. And the demons and devil and 
cannot do anything about it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I love you. I anoint you in Jesus' mighty name. Say, Father, anoint me in the mighty name of Jesus. With the grace for service in Jesus' mighty name. Anoint me in Jesus' mighty name. With the grace for service in the mighty name of Jesus. Anoint me with mercy. And not me comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. And not me with mercy. And not me comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. So that I might be able to comfort as many who are in distress in Jesus' mighty name. So that I might be able to, to comfort as many who are disturbed in the mighty name of Jesus. So it can be an encouragement to others in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please anoint me. Anoint me, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen. The spirit of power, the spirit of power to touch life and to be a blessing always, especially to people that are in emotional distress. That's the prayer this morning. That God will so much bless you. That your life, just me asking you, when somebody that is in distress see you, it be encouraged. Somebody that's already destined to death, determined to go and commit suicide. And just me looking at you, we see comfort all over you. And the comfort will be contagious. So much that himself or herself will be comforted. And the thought of suicide will disappear from his or her mind. Even without you knowing it. That kind of anointing you carry now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Act 10, verse 38. Act 10, verse 38. Let me close that place for you so you understand that this anointing is possible. And that is the mind of God for me. And uh, for you, Acts 10, verse 38. Our example is said, our Lord Himself gives this example. An example is us for us to follow. Acts 10, 38 says, Now God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the spirit of power, with Holy Ghost and power. That's what we are discussing throughout this month. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the spirit of power. Raise your hand to the heaven, your right hand, and say, Father, anoint me Father, with the spirit of power in the mighty name of Jesus. Anoint me with the spirit of power in the mighty name of Jesus. You are anointed, Jesus of Nazareth, with the spirit of power. I cannot go through this life without that kind of power. Lord, anoint me with the spirit of power in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are anointed, Jesus Christ, with the spirit of power, then myself to anoint me with the spirit of power in the mighty name of Jesus. Anoint me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Bishop Oedeko said, what it says to one, it says to all. He told the disciple, he said, what I do, even greater he will do, because I've gone to the Father. Mm -hmm. And Jesus Christ did all he did, because God anointed him with the spirit of power. If Jesus Christ, God in person, is anointed with the spirit of power, then I need that power. It's not for pastors, not for bishops, not for reverend. It's for believers. I am a believer in Jesus Christ. Therefore, I need the spirit of power. You cannot do much, brethren. You can never touch life unless you are anointed with Holy Ghost and power. You can't. That's what I mean. Say, the Lord anointed me. He poured oil on my head, and I was, and I, I was anointed. This morning, I received that power in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of power in the mighty name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost and power in the mighty name of Jesus. I am anointed in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Oh God, anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Therefore, in the mighty name of Jesus, I am anointed to power in the mighty name of Jesus. I raise my hand to the heavens and I put that hand upon my head. I declare I am anointed to power. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am anointed the spirit of power in the mighty name of Jesus. I am anointed the spirit of power, the power of the Holy Ghost, and with power in the mighty name of Jesus. I am anointed with power in Jesus' mighty name, with Holy Ghost and power in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. What do we say? Uh -uh. I'm not speaking in tongue now. How do I? Hmm. That's not the condition. As at the time we are speaking here. Jesus Christ was not even speaking in tongue. The only time Jesus Christ spoke in tongue all throughout his ministry was on the cross. When he said, Eli, Eli, la man sabatani. That was the only time he spoke in tongue. All he tried his ministry was a normal man. You can receive the Holy Ghost and power, even though you're not speaking in tongue. If you please God, he add tongue to it. Then blessed be his name. 
Yeah, that wise, it doesn't matter. I say carry the spirit of power to do what is right. Yeah. And if your Bible is like my Bible, if King James, you see there's a semicolon. And I'll tell you several times that anytime you see semicolon, you semicolon the column now, or column. 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 Anytime you see column, it's so that I want to explain what I just said. Anytime you read your Bible and you see a column, it means what you have just read. What we read after that thing, we explain what you have just read. That's what column means in the Bible. Go and look at all the, all the scriptures. He said in, in Matthew 1 21, he said, His name shall be called Jesus. Then he put column. Mm-hmm. Because he will deliver his people from their sin. That's what Jesus Christ, Jesus means. So anytime you see a column in your Bible, what you read before the column will be explained by what you read after the column. Go and check your Bible. That's how it has always been. And where we have read now, say how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and power. Then they pull a column. It means what I will say now. We explain what, what I just said means. And look at it. It says, Who went about doing good and healing all their were oppressed of the devil? Do you know emotional distress is mostly demonic attack? I'm distressed. I'm uh, depressed. I'm emotional. Things are not working. It's mostly demonic attack, and everybody can have it. It may the level might be different from one person to another. And just that God anointed Jesus Christ with the spirit of Holy Ghost and power, so that He can be going about doing good. And what is the good? That can be the, the helping those and heal them who are oppressed of the devil, because God was with Him. And why will God with him? Because God had anointed him with the Holy Ghost and with power. And that same anointing that Samuel was referring to in verse 5 or something 23. He said, You have anointed my head with oil. It runs over. Mm-hmm. If you run over at me, it's running to everybody around me. You can't see me and not be comforted. You can't come across me and be comforted. You can't be under me and not be comforted. You can't be my ministry and not be comforted. Because I've been anointed with oil. And the oil is running. Over, it's coming, it's going behind me and be, be above me, going beyond me. Therefore, everything around me, my family to my ministry, my business, my everything, must be blessed. That is the kind of anointing you get when you receive spirit of power. Lord, anoint me in the mighty name of Father, Jesus. And I declare I am anointed in Jesus' mighty name. The psalmist say, I am anointed. I declare I am anointed in the mighty name of Jesus. I am anointed with oil in the mighty name of Jesus. With Holy Ghost and power in the mighty name of Jesus. And my cup running over in Jesus' mighty name. I am a blessing to many in the mighty name of Jesus. I am a blessing to many in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare I am a blessing to many in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare I am a blessing to many in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone and anyone going through distress, when they see me, they are they are empowered to be happy in the mighty name of Jesus. They are uncomforted. They are happy. They are automatically receive strength in the mighty name of Jesus because I am anointed with the Holy Ghost and power in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, Father, I am anointed with the power, the spirit of power, to help others with the same help I be helped with in the mighty name of Jesus. I am anointed with the spirit of power, to help others with the same help I be helped with in the mighty name of Jesus. I am anointed with the power in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, I am anointed with the power. To help us men, that Lord will help me to help in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. You have to have this for ask for this. There was anointing upon Aaron. There was anointing upon David. There was anointing upon Jesus. But the difference is that Jesus Christ is extra exceptional anointing, different from those before him. That was why he was able to do more than those before him. And disciple to be anointed. But do you know as anointed as disciple was, we are, there was not as, as Paul than opposed to. He was exceptionally anointed above all that were before him. We simply mean I can be anointed as a pastor above all that are before me. I can be anointed as a, as a father above all that are before me. I can be anointed as a mother above all that are before me. I can be anointed as a wife 
such man that any time me and my husband have anything together, the man will leave me as a happy man and leave me as a blessed man. Like those women outside that when their husband has nothing to do with them and the man business begin to crumble as long as soon as as continue as the man have anything to do with them, the same crumble, contract is lost and everything is bad and mommy wonders is is what is happening. And go and pray somewhere and say, Is your wife is the problem? And what yeah, is my wife a wish? It is not a wish. But it is that anytime you have anything to do with her, your life is go back to square one. But me, I'm not like that. Anytime I have to do with my wife, she go back a blessed woman. She leaves me as a blessed person because I am anointed with exceptional anointing above all husbands before me, above all pastors, all men before me. And that can be your lot in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My children can be anointed with exceptional, exceptional anointing because I am anointed above every children, like other children outside before them. Do I, therefore, God, I will pray, pray for that. I am anointed with exceptional anointing. In the mighty name, mighty name of Jesus, above all before me, in the mighty name of Jesus, above all husband before me, anyone ever call husband before me, I am anointed above them in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone ever call father before me, I am anointed above them in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone ever call, anyone ever call, whatever name they are called, pastor, whatever name, in my language, in my generation. I am anointed above them in the mighty name of Jesus. In my lineage, in my generation, in my cause, I am anointed above them in the mighty name of Jesus. In my generation, in my in my pathway, anyone in my pathway that has gone ahead of me, I am anointed above them in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive a special anointed, anointed above them in the mighty name of Jesus to do well in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If you are going to do a professional exam in your office, please pray this prayer. Either you are, you are going to do it, if you are done your own good luck for you, I know you do another one later by God's grace. If you are doing anyone very soon, you are going to pray for that. This profession will come with anointing. Above everyone that never got to that level before me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself. If you are doing a professional exam very soon in your office, I'm going to pray that this one I'm doing now will come with anointing. Above everyone that have done that exam before me, in the mighty name of Jesus, if you are a student about to write an exam, say this exam I'm going to do, I will exert, I will, I will exert above all that have ever been before me in the mighty name of Jesus. It will come with exceptional anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. It's coming with exceptional anointing for me and for my household. If you are doing that exam, pray for yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We want to pray for three people. One of our daughter is having birthday today. A young lady, a young girl. Bless God, bless her for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We grow to do well in life. Anoint her both up before her in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. One of our son too on campus is doing his birthday today. The same way I pray for him, he be anointed Amen. above everyone that ever grace his family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone, your bloodline, I pray for him, my beloved, you will be anointed above them all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And one of my, my, one, my sister too have a birthday on Friday, 40 years. I will come out of the club. I told her, as I'm going out of the club, you are coming in. The same way you be anointed above everyone, ever gone through 40 before you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In your lineage, everyone that ever closed that, that, that number. You'll be better than all of them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God will exceptionally put you out Amen. and anoint you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Every of a written wound, God will heal Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every of your trouble, God will take care of them Amen. and now peace your life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I speak to you, peace be still in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thanks for us. all your loss are restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please join me and pray for this visit to the people I've mentioned that God will anoint them in the mighty name of Jesus. From this time henceforth, they will see grace in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. They are anointed in Jesus' mighty name. They are empowered in the mighty name of Jesus. They will never remain.
begin hastening. Everyone that has gone ahead of them before now, they will not only overtake, they will go ahead of them far, far in the mighty name of Jesus. They are anointed with grace, a certain anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone in distress or in disturb in their family line, from nine, so it come to them for help in the mighty name of Jesus. Every loss of the past are restored hundredfold in Jesus' mighty name. The God that restored the loss of Job. We restore all your loss in the mighty name of Jesus. The God that restored the loss of David, we restore your loss in the mighty name of Jesus. You will restore in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Bible says that water shall be water also. Give. It shall be given unto you. Press down, shaking together, running over. The same way you may shall be to you, even much more than that. In this ministry, everybody now that are hearing me, you have been on head of this ministry. That you are even attending this meeting now is a help on its own. If you are not here, I'll be talking to myself. In every way you have supported the ministry, in tithe, in offering, in coming to the meeting, in praying for me, praying for my family, praying for just now, just pray for other people, praying for others. God will restore your soul. Amen. Every of your laws, heaven will restore them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. From this moment henceforth, I speak to you. Amen. Raise my hand to the heavens. And I say you are anointed with oil. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Heaven will remember you. Amen. You will not sow your seed in vain. Amen. Every of your investment of this ministry, Amen. in prayer, in kind, even in sending tests and praying for me, every of your investment in tight in offering, Every of your investment of this ministry, I speak life to them. Amen. And I say investment now in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Your children will reap the reward. Amen. Your children, children will reap the reward. Amen. You will not suffer loss. Amen. I say you will not suffer loss. Amen. Anything you must have lost in the past, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, of Nazareth, everything you lost and you are wishing to come back, they are restored now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Please put your right hand on your head and declare yourself, I am anointed with oil. I am anointed in with the mighty Lord. name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am anointed with the Holy Ghost and power. I am anointed with the in the mighty Lord. name of Jesus. I am anointed. I'm not the spirit of power I'm in the mighty name of, of Jesus. Henceforth, I will go about doing good and, and healing as cement that are oppressed in the mighty name of Jesus. I am anointed with exceptional anointing in Jesus' mighty name. Above everyone that ever come my generation in the mighty name of Jesus. I am anointed and above everyone that have not that have gone before me in my knowledge in the mighty name of Jesus. And with the same anointing, I am anointed. My children to are anointed with the above everyone that have gone before them in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. That hand is in your head, that hand is in your head, please put that hand in your head, I want to pray for you. The Bible says the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead shall quicken your spirit. And cooking your mother body. Mm. That same God that anointed your fellow that with spirit and power, with and power, and was able to go about doing good because God was with him, even though he was practically working in the midst of in the valley of death every time. But God was with him. In that same vein, in that same grace, I pray with that scriptures and with the spirit of power in that scriptures. The Bible says the word I speak are truth and they are life. Mm. Therefore, I quicken the life in those words mm. and speak the same to your life. Mm. That henceforth you are anointed. Amen. With oil, you are anointed. Amen. With power, you are anointed. Amen. With the Holy Ghost, you are anointed. Amen. With the Spirit of power, you are anointed. Amen. To so go about doing good in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say God will comfort you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. From now you will no longer be weighed down. You will float above your trouble. Amen. And I speak peace to your waters in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I speak peace to your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, say, when you spoke the word, the word healed them. Amen. As it the word comes out right now, I speak them to every light, to everybody. 
Let there be health in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let there be healing and cure. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are comforted. Amen. The covenant of comfort and rest is yours now. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, I say once again, because you have helped this ministry. And stand with this ministry. Heaven will rest with you. Amen. Heaven will help you. Amen. Heaven will sustain you. Amen. You will never lack. Amen. You will say, indeed, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. Because you will not lack. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I declare the guardian around you mm. to be hidden in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. To be alive and active in Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Sin will not destroy that guardian. Amen. In Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for coming. In Jesus' name, we have the attention of this evening and be live again to the Bible study in First Family Church. We call it um, uh, Dashi Training and Expository Study. It's always very expository. We have to study the Word of God at the deepest level we can and also train us to be leaders as much as possible. Even not for our or even not for anybody, at least in our family, we can be good to ourselves and to our children. May God help us and bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Mm-hmm. So if you have the time and you are free, please join us 5 p.m. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God go with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our family song, I'm so glad I'm a part of this family, family of God, strong as David. Wise as Solomon, joined here with Jesus. Heaven, oh my band, I'm so glad with this family. Family, may God bless you and keep you. Amen. May God shine in face towards you and be gracious to you. Amen. May God lift up his curtain and the entire light of heaven upon you. Amen. And give you peace. Amen. Peace in your mind. Amen. Peace in your soul. Amen. Peace in your spirit. Amen. Peace in your body. Amen. Peace in your family. Amen. Peace in the life of your children. Amen. Anywhere they go to, they will have peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'm going to doing that very God bless you. My sister, God bless you. Beloved, God bless you. And I do that God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As a good now, you are anointed with grace, all of you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I put God's name upon you Amen. and upon your children. Amen. And I declare you are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God will continually arise on your behalf when you need Him in Jesus' mighty name. You will Amen. not walk alone Amen. and you will never be alone. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. In God's name, again, I bless you for helping us and for staying with us. God will reward you abundantly in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. In amen. Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. amen and uh, amen. And what's the year of Holy Spirit? What do we say? Hallelujah for the love. It is over. God bless you. Oh, many potent reign. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our God in it. Hallelujah for the love. God, omnipotent reigns, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. May God reign on the anointing of your head in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you.